I'm going to try to make a, a point to keep a closer eye on Tra- Travis Hines. Travis Hines is a guy who lives in a Ford Focus and travels throughout the United States, uh, oftentimes getting harassed by police. He has three channels, Daily Roamer, Travis Hines, and Travis Hines. Three channels. Uh, one of them is all harassment by police and sort of run-ins with authority figures, security guards, uh, workers at libraries, things of that nature, but mainly police. Uh, one of them is daily vlogs, I guess you would call it, and one of them is daily roamer, which shows him driving from one uh, city to the next. So he was in Texas uh, more recently for a long time, throughout the winter for for the most part, and uh, recently during COVID-19 went through Oklahoma and he blew right through Oklahoma. And the, the thing is, his, yeah, his one channel or his main is what uh, his one channel, uh, which focuses on police harassment or, or I, I, that might be a little strong police interactions. Let's give the benefit of the doubt to the police. Although oftentimes it is just that harassment but we'll give him the benefit of the doubt and just call it police interactions. That's the most current channel, but he rarely uploads to that one. The the one where you see daily uploads is uh, his vlog, and that's a month behind where his actual location is. So, so you can tell where he is based on the police interaction YouTube channel, which he doesn't update very often. He has to have an interaction with police or another authority figure. So he was in, as I had predicted, I didn't want to come out and say that he was in um, uh, Wichita, Kansas, but that's where I thought he was. You can kind of make some good estimations where it is. There's Wichita. Um, so I think that was about a week ago, right? And I'm thinking, you know, that interaction, you know, he didn't get arrested, but that was not a good interaction. And I think he w- he left it at that point. So then where is he going? I think if he was smart, he, he said he wanted to go into South Dakota. I think he if he would go on to Topeka. That's where you're going to – Topeka is the capital of Kansas. He's going to see more action there. Just more, just more interesting things than I've been to Kansas a couple times. I have some relatives there. Salina or Salina, that's kind of just a stop off I seventy. I think he needed to go to Topeka, maybe into Manhattan, where Kansas State University is, and then up. So I would guess. I'm going to guess he's in Topeka right now. Would he go to Kansas City area? If he went to Lawrence, where the University of Kansas is, he may as well just go on to Kansas City, right? But then he would have to double back. I would say... You know, he doesn't seem to... even though he's traveled so much within the United States, the Western United States continuously for years now, he doesn't seem to know a lot about the town before he gets there. I know a lot about little towns, fairly little towns, just from watching college sports and and, and looking at maps. And I know Topeka is the capital of Kansas. I've, I've been, I know Manhattan has Kansas State University. I've been there. Um... But even if I hadn't, I would probably have that basic knowledge. Um, so I don't know if you would know, you know, whether he should go to Salina or Topeka, which one he w- should choose. If you want, maybe if he just wants to get straight into, um, hmm, it's kind of an off highway. He likes off highways, though. He doesn't like main interstates. He may have gone straight up to Salina. We'll have to stay tuned. We'll have to see where he is. Thank you so much. Guess what I found out in the hallway of one of the rooms? That's right. Leftovers. Great. 
just kidding. I ordered it. I almost I almost never order food. Um, my favorite food, it might have to be the marinara of all time. It's right up there with sushi. Um, something about marinara. And what goes in it simply doesn't matter, whether it's bread, whether it's pizza, garlic knots in this case. And on the other side, we've got the vegetable calzone and more marinara. That's key. Your garlic knots. No. You know, people used to say that I had hawk eyes, and the, the white eyes. evil eyes.